Okay, good. Okay, so everybody, this is very important. Okay, so we have two and a half plus one and a one over quarter. So sorry, third. So it's two plus half and plus one and one third, right? So okay, Alexander, we only need to plus the fractional part for together and number part together. So equals what three and five over six. Get it, Amelia? Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so it's very important, very easy. Two, three, and four. I want two of you to calculate these three questions yourself. Okay, so three questions. So do we send you the answers in chat? Yes, please. I can't see number four like the last. Four and a half plus one and quarter. The first question, Amelia, you get it right. Good job. Wait, so if it's five and one over two, how do I like write it in the chat? So you just uh, add, you just, let me just show you. You just do like that, five, one, over two. Did you see okay. that? Okay. Mm
Alex, did you finish? I have received all Amelia's. Good job. Thank you, Amelia. Alex, are you still there or no? Okay, so let's take a look at the three, okay? So Amelia, the first to two is right. Very good. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Four. Four plus one equals what? Equals five, right? And half plus three is three over four. So five and three over four. Very good, okay? So now let's take a look at number eight or number seven. So let's take a look at this one. What if five plus eight equals 13 and a half plus three over four equals what? Equals five over four. Can we have something like that? Alex? Yeah. No, we don't want to have what? We don't want to have the denominator is smaller than the numerator. This one is not right. So this one equals what? Five over four equals what, Alex? Four over four, five over four equals what? Equals one and one over four, right, Amelia? So when we have 13 plus one, so it's 14 and one over four, understand? Okay, we cannot have the numerator bigger than the denominator in the mixed numbers. So we have to transfer them. Alex, understand? Okay, so let's take a look at number six, number eight, and number nine. Okay, number six, number eight, and number nine. So we do number six, eight, and nine. Yes. Hey, all, Alex and uh, Amelia. And on the last one, number mm -hmm. nine. Okay, so I'm sending it to you. Thank you. Alexander, remember to simplify, okay? Alexander, everything's good, but remember to simplify.
Let's take a look at this one, okay? So I'm just waiting for Amelia and Alexandra to send me the answer. OK， 哦、oh, ，Alexander， 我们看一下，我没有看老师做的题目是不是？我们说了 ，when we adding those ones, Alexander, we try to put what, put the number together and a fraction together. So it will save you a lot of time, Alexander. I know you can just do that, like the thing you did, but it takes a longer time. So let me ask you, six plus three equals what? Nine. Six plus three equals nine, right? So we just do five and quarter, five over 12 plus three over four. So five over 12 plus what? what nine over 12, right? Because 12 is a multiple of four, so I don't have to do anything. So it's 14 over 12. Alex, look at that. We have to simplify, so it's seven over six, which is one and one over six. So nine plus one and a one over six equals what? Equals 10 and a one over six. I don't want you to do this because I saw that you're doing, uh, putting them together. So six times 12 equals 80, 76, 72, 72 plus five equals 77 over 12 plus. So it's very big number, understand Alex? So the smaller number is better. So let's take a look at number eight. So three plus three equals six. So seven over eight plus one over three equals what? Equals seven times three over eight times three plus eight times one over three times one. Sorry, eight times three. So equals 21 plus eight over 24 equals 29 over 24 which is one and five over 24, right? So plus one and five over 24 equals what? Equals seven and five over 24. Alex, understand? So we don't want to use the bigger number. Uh, Amelia, did you do the same thing? Amelia? No. Yeah, we have to do this method. Okay, let's take a look at number nine. Nine and a 10, use my number and do it again. Okay, use my number and do it again. Use my method and do it again.
Wait, but how do I simplify? How do I simplify five seven plus four? Yeah, I did that. It's eleven. Eleven, okay. So how do you do five over twelve plus three over ten? Oh, I get it now. Alex 和 Amelia 都做好了吗？ Thank you, Amelia. Amelia 还是啊、uh, ，Amelia. Okay, thank you. Eleven. Good job. Okay, good job. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So five over twelve plus three over ten. Alex, we're waiting for you. So equals what? Equals sixty twenty-five over sixty plus eighteen over sixty. So equals 43 over 60. So 11 and 43 over 60. I really understand. Okay, it's five over 12 plus three over 10, okay? It's not minus. I don't know how did you get this number. So let's take a look at this one. So now let's move forward to the minus. Okay, Amelia and Alex, three and a one over three, minus one over three and four and a half. Those one very easy. So number 11, I want Alex, give me the answer directly, number 11. Number 11, Alex, can you tell me the answer directly? Um. Two. Hmm? Three minus one equals what, Alex? Two. Very good. So one over three minus one over three equals what? Zero. Very uh, good. So the answer is two. Very good. Oh, I thought it was plus. <laughs> no, minus. Okay, Amelia, number 12. Can you tell me the answer directly? Uh, one. Very good. Okay, so number 13, let's take a look at this one. So we, again, doing the fraction first. So half minus one over four equals what? One over four, right? And five minus two equals what? Equals three. So the answer is three and one over four. Get it? Okay, so we're going to do number 14 together, okay? So Amelia and Alex, one over three, six minus one over three cannot be minus, right? It equals what? Equals negative one over six. So six minus five equals what? Equals one. So the answer is one minus, minus one over six equals what? Equals one. five over six. Get it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at number 19 and number 20. 